So it takes around 90 minutes for your Gene2 Q16 to analyze your data. Once you hear this, analysis complete. Understanding the results is really easy. So in this example, we've analyzed two DNA samples looking for the presence of listeria. You access your results by clicking the results tab up here. In this top left hand panel, you'll see a summary of the analysis. In this instance, everything has worked perfectly. If there's an underlying problem with the analysis, then that will be highlighted up here for you in simple English. But the really interesting bit is down here. Here are the results. The results are presented in exactly the same order that you arranged them during test setup. You can ignore the top two rows as these are your positive and your negative controls. The results for the samples are displayed underneath. So the first column displays the name of the test, Listeria in this instance. The second shows the name of your samples. The third is the most interesting. This tells you whether your sample is positive or negative for the target in a simple traffic light format. So in this instance, both samples are positive for Listeria, hence the green color. If you have a negative result, the word negative is displayed and the color is red. And if you have an inconclusive result, then the field is colored amber. There are a few possible causes for inconclusive results. If you get one of these, there's an explanation displayed up here. Then by referring to your QC16 instruction manual, it's very easy to determine what went wrong and then to correct your method. Another really nice feature is displayed in the column here on the right. Here, the software gives an estimation of the amount of the target that is present. So this number tells you how many copies of your target DNA were present in your sample. So for example here, just over 100,000, and for the second sample, just under 10,000. The software uses information from the positive control, the negative controls, and the internal extraction control, as well as detecting the presence or absence of the target. This complicated analysis is completely automated for you on the Q16. However, if you're an experienced user and you would like to see the underlying data, you can see all of that by clicking the details tabs here and here. So in this view, you can see the amplification plots and the CQ values. And you can even switch between the views to see the internal control signal, if you like. So all in all, you can see that the Q16 presents your results in an incredibly simple way. It is designed to make it easy for users of any experience level to analyze their DNA like a pro.